In this video, I'll show you an easy way to defeat the Underdark Spectator in Baldur's Gate 3. The only requirement for this guide is that Gale must have Scorching Ray, a level 2 spell, and being able to upcast it to level 3 is highly recommended. If you've done all of the quests from the first map, there should be enough experience for everyone to reach level 5 by the time they arrive in this area. The first thing we need to do is get rid of this torch talk because it's just getting in the way. Next, we're going to command all our party members to gather the nearby oil barrels and place them around the torch talk at the bottom passageway. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Might as well. Into my pocket. My, my. This way. It's important that we place all four of them on one side, next to the wall. Otherwise, the spectator might ignore the path and fly around it. When that's done, we will send our party within the outpost and hide behind the windows. Once they're in position, we will command Astarion to move towards the opening and do a range attack on this petrified drow to trigger the cutscene. The spectator will move towards the path afterwards, and once Astarion recovers from the surprise status, we will make him hide and join the others. As the creature floats past the barrels, all we need to do is wait for it to turn around and activate turn-based mode. From here, we will position him past the window and use his firebolt cantrip to detonate the barrels. The blast should take out more than half of its HP, and we'll follow it up with a ranged sneak attack. My way. <laughs> to finish it off, we'll make Gale sneak into position and launch Scorching Ray, a highly effective spell against it, especially here from a high ground. Depending on how much HP it has left, you may want to upcast it to be sure. I'm just doing it here as a demonstration. And there we go. 